Juan, you've just had a few moments in that Manchester United dressing room. What's the mood? Oh, we're disappointed. <clears throat> we obviously wanted to need, uh, win. We needed to win. Uh, so we are disappointed because I think we did a good first half. Uh, we scored. We had a, another good chances. Um, you know, it's, it's difficult when you have the top four so close and then you have done an incredible job over the last months to get there. And, you know, we will try until the end. But obviously we needed to win today because Chelsea is fighting with us for that position. You made a really fast start to the match, which culminated in your goal. Was that down to the fact you knew how desperate the situation was for you today? That's how we should start every game, to be honest. And, you know, when we play at home especially, we need to... We need to do what we did today, which is put the other team in trouble, press, have chances, bring the crowd with us, and I think we did very well today in the first half especially. What do you say to David De Gea after a moment like that? He's been so big for you, dug you out so many times. You know, uh, David is unquestionable for me. His level uh, has been fantastic for this club. He's been the best player over the last years. The amount of points that he has saved us is incredible. So, yeah, we all have good and bad moments over our careers, but for me the important thing is how to react, and he's determined to react positively, to do what he does best, which is being the best, and, uh, you know, I, I have 100% uh, confidence on him, and we all have, so, yeah, today, obviously, he's not happy, we are not happy, but tomorrow morning he will come back to training with the best attitude as always, and... and the only thing I, will, I want to say is that his level, for me, is unquestionable. As a friend, what can you do for him right now? He's having, obviously, a tough time. He knows. I'm, I'm here for him, for everything. And what I can do is give him my honest uh, consideration about, about the moment, about the situation, uh, that he knows, obviously, he's disappointed with, with that goal. But after that... Giving, giving confidence to him because I honestly believe he's one of the best in the world and there's no question about that. So, as I said before, I make mistakes, everyone makes mistakes, but you are a goalkeeper and if you make a mistake, it's probably a goal. That's very difficult for them, but he's a strong mentality person and he will save, of course, many goals in the, in the next games. And again, he's been the best for us and... He has my full confidence and the team and the manager and everyone that loves Manchester United confidence. You've said already you'll keep going, but is there the sense after today that the top four's gone? Very difficult. We don't depend on us. We, we have to try to win the last two games and let's see what happens. But obviously we needed today three points, especially because it was Chelsea. No? Uh, very good team, playing very good football, fighting with us for the top four. Scoring before, you know, it was a bit disappointing, the, the result, but uh, we need to, to move on and try to finish the season uh, the best we can. Thank you for your time. Thank you.